Hey everyone, recently we were lucky enough to spend six months in Aruba. In today's video, we're going to share with you the top things to do while you're in Aruba. This is Plan Free, the channel that illustrates a location independent lifestyle. If you like what we're talking about on our videos, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Click the blue bell icon so you always know when the next video is coming out. Aruba is a large enough island to where you'd likely want to get transportation to be able to see several of the things that might be on your list. So one of the first things you'd want to do when you arrive in Aruba is get transportation. My recommendation would be to grab a Jeep or alternatively a side-by-side -side or a quad if you're by yourself. The reason why I make this recommendation is because several of the roads that you're going to want to travel on aren't even roads at all, or if they are, they're fairly rough. So a regular passenger vehicle might not do so well on some of the roads, particularly in Aircock Park. A Jeep is probably going to be the best way for you to go with both the ability to travel some of the rough terrain that you might encounter and has the comfort for you and say up to four or six friends. Additionally, a Jeep, a lot of them you can take the top off so you can have the open air Caribbean island experience while retaining some of the comfort you're gonna want driving around most of the day. All right, once you've got that squared away, one of the first things that you might wanna consider doing is taking a driving tour of Aracock National Park. Among the things you'll be able to see and do inside this park will be numerous cave systems that you can explore. Make sure to bring your swimsuits because you'll likely want to have a refreshing dip in the natural pool after being in the hot Caribbean sun driving around for a while. Also, as part of your Aracock exploring adventure, you'll likely want to see some of the secluded beaches that are on the other side of the island from the resorts. And speaking of that, we'll talk a little bit more about that here in the next section. Do a self-guided beach tour. Again, Aruba is large enough to where you'd need to drive to several of these beaches. You can explore several beaches on the resort side of the island, whether it be Eagle Beach, Divi Beach, Malmok, Palm Beach is probably in the center of the resort hubbub. If you like to hold down a lounge chair while enjoying a cocktail and maybe people watching is your hobby, that's an excellent beach to hang out on. If you'd like a change of pace, Mango Halto is quite quiet in comparison. And then all the way towards the other end of the resort side of the island is Baby Beach, which is probably something you'd want to see. On the opposite shore of the island, there are several beaches that are worth visiting. And normally here you're going to find beaches that are quite a bit more secluded than the resort side of the island and also offer different things. The other side of the island opposite from the resorts is generally a wavier sea. And so you'll find certain beaches that will offer things like surfing or body surfing. You'll, you'll find beaches that are small, like that can fit two to 20 people on it. And so if you find the right one at the right time, you could have a beach all to yourself. So you're going to want to explore beaches like Dos Playas, Boca Prince, Boca Quito, among other beaches on this side of the island that are worth exploring. Take in the history and the culture of San Nicolas. Mm -hmm. 
Experience the beautiful architecture of Aranjastad. Walk amongst the magnificent boulders at Ayo and Kasabari rocks and get a feeling of the size of these rock formations when you get up close to them. Take a hike, and I mean that in the best possible way. You can walk up Foyberg Lookout, Yamanata Hill, or even the trails near Alto Vista are excellent for a walk. Speaking of Alta Vista, take in the historical chapel in the area. Also Bashiri Bana Gold Ruins is worth checking out. If I was looking to enjoy a beautiful sunset on the island, I couldn't think of a better place than going to the lighthouse. We hope our top list of things to do in Aruba has given you some ideas for your next visit there. My name's Aaron and this is Plan Free. If you like the video, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Click the blue bell icon so you always know when the next video is coming out. And stick around for the next one which is coming soon.